we tend to take our focus off God and we tend to put our focus on other things. And when this happens, we see the downfall, the spiraling down that happens to us as Christians, because even in uh, biblical times when Peter asked Jesus to come out uh, so that he can walk on the water, he was doing it. He was walking on that water. But yet when he started to look around, he began to fear and doubt began to creep in and he began to sink. Lord, save me. And of course, Jesus saved him. It's the same thing with us, family and friends. We need to trust in the Lord to the point where we're not looking around at whatever's happening, but we are focused on what God's word says. God's word says that we are victorious. God's word says that we're blessed. God's word says that we're healed. God's word says it. So we have to trust in that word despite of what we feel or despite of what it looks like, we know that God wants each and every one of us to be blessed. So instead of looking around and doubting God, we need to build up some trust. So how do we do this? Well, it starts from communication. You need to continue to communicate with God on a daily basis and build that communication you know, talk to God, talk to Jesus on a daily basis. Uh, when you see things that, that you got faults in, then communicate with God that, you know, Lord, I should have trusted you in this area, or I should have, you know, uh, you know, listened to you, but yet I didn't. See, all of these things, it shows God that you're interested in him. And the second thing is read your Bibles. When you study your Bible, and I can't say this enough, and and those of you who have followed me a while, you know that reading your Bible is the most important thing because in the scriptures, you're going to find hope. You're going to find, you know, faith there and you're going to see it and it's going to help you grow in your faith. Uh, As we look at you know, those people say the woman with the issue of blood, uh, say about the, the, the centurion son or the uh, Seraphonicianite woman, um, all of them had faith and their faith. And, and among others, there's a lot of others in the scripture. As you study it, you begin to see that their faith caused them to either be delivered, be healed or even the faith of others for someone else. You know, we see all of this and what is this intended to do? This is intended to help us grow. This is intended so that we can become, you know, more like Christ when Jesus trusted and believed God, even though his body was saying, you know, oh, why have you abandoned me, Father? Where are you? You know, he he ultimately trusted God. Nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done, Jesus said. And when we begin to study the Bible, we begin to grow. You know, the Bible tells us that when you read the scripture, when you read the Bible, you grow in your faith. That's where it comes from. It comes from reading your Bible. So please do not neglect to read your Bibles. You need to know what's in that word. So that way, when the enemy comes up against you and you begin to see these things in this world taking place or even against you, you know that you've got, you know, the spiritual sword that you can fight against and you've got a defense you've got uh you've got the helmet of salvation you got the breastplate of righteousness you got the shield of faith you know you got your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace um and of course the word of god which is you know god's word um and and today what i'm trying to tell you is that when things don't look right get into your bibles in your bibles you're going to see it time and time and time again that God was there. And even when it looks like God wasn't there, God was there. In the Old Testament, we see it time and time again. God set this up. God did this for whatever reason, but it was God who was in control. And all the while, he wanted them just to trust him. He wanted them to know that, you know, hey, God is in control. And I need to repent and I need to come back to him and I need to continue to trust in what God is doing. You know, what we see a lot of times in the Old Testament is they begin to put their own trust in themselves and begin to make preparations, you know, for themselves instead of coming to God and saying, you know, Lord, you're in complete control. 
you know, this is what reading the Bible will help you do. And the third point that I want to tell you today is don't let the enemy lie to you. Or, or let me put it this way. Don't believe the lies of the enemy. One way that we believe the lies of the enemy is that when someone tells us something or we hear something or we feel something, you know, the enemy can take that and cause you to doubt and cause you to fear, which we are not supposed to do that, friends and family members. We are to stand strong and we are to trust in God. So don't believe that. You believe what the word of God says, even if it goes contrary to how you feel or what you're seeing. You continue to trust the word of God because this is what God wants you to do. He wants you to put your trust in him and not in what you see or what you hear. Because the enemy will, I guarantee you, he'll take what you see and what you hear. Although he can't make us, the enemy can't make us do something. You know, we do that to ourselves. He merely presents us with something and we begin to believe the lies of the enemy which cause us to you know have a downward spiral and you know just like peter we have to reach out and call out to god but the issue then is we get frustrated we get angry and we don't call out to god you know so it's very important you guys that we trust god and the the whole message for this video today is that you would you know, build your trust, build your trust in God every single day. And like I said, you know, communicate with God, uh, read your Bibles and don't listen to the lies of the adversary. Don't listen to the lies of, of the enemy. When you read your Bible, you're going to know exactly what God wants you to do. And you keep focused and you do what God's calling you to do, because you're going to see God's going to take care of you. God's going to be with you. God's going to deliver you and everything that happens to us is for God's purpose and God's reasoning. It's not for us to try to figure it out. It's not for us to try to understand it. God don't need us to understand it. God's already in control. If, if we say that he's our father, then we just believe and we trust that. And we don't ignore what God has said. We don't fear. You know, we know that God is in complete control. So today, build your trust, build your faith, continue to walk in faith. It doesn't matter what it looks like. You continue to do what God's called you to do. God is happy with those of us who put our trust in him. And this is what I'm telling you today. Trust in God, not yourselves. God is able and God will do what he needs to do for your benefit so that he can get you where he wants you.